the Double Witch at Town Hall 12. Friends, my name is Echo, and today we're over in Thunder Sabers, a clan which called me over to share some Town Hall 12 content with you guys today. I'm gonna be doing this in a two part video. So, in the morning, when you're watching this right now, that's part one, and later on in the afternoon, you will be able to get part two of this video. Half of the attacks are here, half of the attacks are over there, so make sure you don't miss part two. And if you're here from part two, welcome. Hope you enjoy the first part. The Dream T12 is here with some Town Hall 12. I don't really cover Town Hall 12 often on the channel, so I'm actually pretty excited to do it here today. And we have some double witch action. Means we have the super witch and we have regular witches as well for just the right amount of spam to crush these bases. Now, why don't we hit play, see how this goes down, and we could have that discussion as it happens. But I wanna remind you guys, make sure you sub the channel and ring the bell for daily Clash of Clans and other mobile gaming videos. Starting out right here with that Grand Warden, let's go. Getting that long range value from the Warden, using that Quake spell as well, nicely done. Really smooth right here to start some things out. Now remember we're at Town Hall 12. We have a Giga Tesla, we have a Giga Bomb to deal with, which is different than Town Halls 9, 10, and 11, which we cover more often on the channel. This Warden walk is going to be something sweet. The Dream T12 is going to get it done. Now, now, we have a Siege Barrack, a King, and those two Witches in the southern part of the base, just enough to spam out and funnel down this base. Now, there's potential that this King is gonna pop into the Town Hall and take it down. There's actually a lot of potential, because here he goes. He's ready to get on, on that Warden pedestal. Jump spell's been placed as well. Here we go, Clan Castle Lore. Let's get a Poison spell on those Super Minions. They can be devastating to attacks. Town Hall's down, Warden's abilities used, everyone's invincible and rushing this base. All the while, Witch Spam, Hogs coming out from, from down here as well, out of the Clan Castle. This, or actually the Siege Barrack, let me, let me correct myself there. This is Spam at its finest. You have Big Spam, Small Spam, Hog Spam, Hero Spam. I love it, pushing right into the base. The Hogs taking down that Eagle Artillery as well, and the Witches, yes, they're getting that value right over here. That Witch, oh no, she's being targeted. Hog Rider, get your vengeance on this. But look at this, this is the kill squad that matters right here. We have the King, the Queen, the Warden, the Super Witches, which are gonna spawn those big boys. I need to start doing this again. I haven't used Super Witches in Town Hall 13 in a while, but this is making me say I should be doing it. And we're wearing our Gears of War shirt today in, in memory of the witch attacks at Town Hall 12. How is that relevant? It's absolutely not at all. Literally just the shirt I'm wearing today. But sometimes we do random things and say random things inside of videos, but that's cool. That's what makes this the Echo Gaming channel after all. The spam will come together and rush the final Tesla farm over here in the eastern side of the base, pulling in a gorgeous triple for the dream. T12 out of Thunder Sabers who have a Discord server, which I will try to remember to link in the description. If I forget, come through my Discord server, and inside of my Discord server, you can ask in the Looking for a Clan section how to become part of Thunder Sabers, who is actually called Birds of Thunder. That's the clan family name, Birds of Thunder. Intermission, reminding you guys that I'm live streaming over on Twitch a couple of days a week, so make sure you come on through. I'll be linking that and my Discord server as the pinned comment down below. Let's go, support your boy. I'll see you there. Now the second attack here is straight up no little witches. It's just those big witches. It's those super witches with the big boys, ice golem, lightning spells in the composition as well. One quake spell, the healers. It's another one of these big pushes inside of the base. This one done by warrior. And let's see what warrior can do. Not to be confused with warrior tide, who's often featured on my channel. Good friend of mine, warrior tide has become. We need to see him again soon. Come back, Warrior Tide. Here we go. Warden Walk yet again. I'm loving this. I, I kind of want to implement this at Town Hall 13. Look at the lightning spells. One Quake, four lightning spells, taking down that compartment, setting the funnel, getting rid of the Inferno Tower, but there's two multi-Infernos. There's an Eagle centralizing the base. The one thing I love about Town Hall 12 are you don't have to deal with scatter shots like we have to at Town Hall 13, which are devastating defenses. They are scary. They scare me all the time. 
Here we go. Ice Golem coming in, leading the way. Super Witch is going in. I love the use of that balloon as well. That balloon is going to basically clear the skies of any air mines that may be pushing into this base or actually coming out of the base. Super Minions, yet again. Poison spell on them. Rage spell as well. Let's go right into the core. I love the Grand Warden's ability. It's keeping the Super Minion damage down to basically a minimum so that nothing is going to be taken down by the Super Minions or that Eagle Artillery drop. But then you have to deal with that Giga bomb and you have to heal up after it because it does quite the damage but look at this a stone slammer on this attack we don't have this we don't have the siege barrack here this one is the stone slammer which is acting like another troop essentially to take down these things now look at this super witch on the eagle artillery with the grand warden shutting it down queen's walking her way around the base baby dragon dropped in, in the west to help clean things up balloons with the haste spell gonna clean out this compartment i love the use of that freeze to shut down the wizard tower and the air defense so nice right here warrior out of thunder sabers getting it done queen gonna shut down that tesla and now it's time to wall pound a bit you know the queen loves to do that it's just it's just her thing Look at this balloon right over here, though, getting that huge value, just dropping bombs on your moms. Taking down defenses that can't fight back. You gotta love it. That's some value that we're talking about right there. Wizard taking down the rest of the, the pumps down below. So this is a very efficient strategy right here, done really well. And when the big boys are spawned, not only do they just act as tanks, but they also do a really nice job taking down any structures, not only defenses. So I happen to love the BBS, which is the big boy strategy. Yes, I do. It works out really nicely. Baby Dragon, big boys cleaning the rest up and that is the end of this attack. Now I wanna remind you guys, this is only the first half of the video. So first of all, if you've made it this far, hashtag made it down below because you guys are the truth. Thank you for being the truth. But the second part of this video is gonna post in about six hours at the end of the day, actually more like right after lunchtime. And it's gonna have the final two attacks from this war that have to do with these super witches. Actually, it's a super witch attack and something special. Ah, here's a great way for me to support the clan and not have to remember to put the link in the description. It's right over there. You could check it out. The link for their Discord is right there. So if you want to join the Birds of Thunder, there you go. They're an esports clan for Town Hall 12 and 13. This is not my clan. It's not my clan family. You will not play with me if you come to this clan, but I like to give support to the clans and to the people that support me and my content. So there we go. If you're looking for a family, you can consider the Birds of Thunder. In this case, Thunder Sabers. Hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Remember, part two is coming a little bit later on in the day. Use code ECHO whenever you buy anything in the shop. I am watching you. I know if you do or you don't. You cannot lie. You cannot hide. Check out some of my other videos before you go and come back later on today for part two. Later, guys. And be good.